My main goals for reselling in 2024 are to list high quality items to multiple marketplaces, leveraging the unique clientele each platform brings. To produce my most profitable year of reselling with my strongest sell through rate and lowest volume of inventory yet. The tools we're discussing in today's video aren't just good suggestions to get me there, they will be imperative to my success this next year. I want you to be successful too in all of your 2024 reselling goals, so let's get straight into it and build your reseller toolbox. We are jumping straight into the list today with the sponsor of today's video, which is a tool I utilized in 2023, which has enabled me to sell more diversely on more platforms than ever before. I've had more success with cross-listing in 2023 than any year prior, and I did it all from my phone. Vindu has strategically tuned their cross-listing service to meet the needs spoken by actual resellers by delivering to us everything we've ever asked for in a cross-listing service. If you're serious about cross-listing, maybe even for the first time in 2023, listen up because nearly every barrier of entry that resellers have spoken about in the past has been shattered by Vindu. Are you short on time? That's always been an excuse for why resellers don't cross list but with Vindu it takes me less than a minute to cross list and I do it all from my phone wherever I'm at. Are you always on the go? Me too. I rarely, I, I never list from the computer but I'm rarely on the computer unless I'm editing a video like this. I always need to be able to work to resell from my phone wherever I'm at just a few days ago, I actually cross-listed on Vindu from the airport. So many sellers have asked and begged for a cross-listing app and Vindu has it. I regularly cross-list from the line at the thrift store, my child's pickup line at school, and the other day, and I feel like this is the best one, I wanted to relax in the hot tub. I went to the gym, I took my phone, and I actually accomplished some work, got some cross-listing done that day. I, I was productive, but I was also really enjoying being self-employed that day. Worried you might sell the same thing on two platforms if it's it's listed on two platforms. I know you feel me on this one. If I had a dime for every time a reseller said, I'll use a cross-listing app whenever auto sales detection is a thing, when it will automatically delist an item if it sells, so I don't sell it on other platforms. Well, Vindu was listening, they heard you, and guess what they have? Auto sales detection and deletion is now available on Vindu for Mercari, Poshmark, eBay, and Depop. Meaning whenever an item sells on one of these marketplaces, Vindu will automatically delist it from the other marketplace. It's just another way you can manage your inventory easily and save time. I am 100% confident that Vindu is going to lead to more sales for me in 2024. If you feel like it could increase your business as well, Vindu has plans starting free. You heard that right, free. You can try Vindu for free. Cross-listing up to five items a month. Once you've decided that Vindu is for you, you can upgrade for as low as $8.99 a month. It's definitely worth a shot to see if you can get more sales on your items by cross-listing and getting in front of more potential buyers. Thanks again to Vindu for sponsoring today's video. I gotta give the second spot to the most talked about and highly requested link on my channel. Every time I have this in a video, I always get so many comments. Rachel, where did you get that pistol grip tripod? To be fair, this thing is really neat. It's very compact and portable. Obviously, I could break this down and put this right inside my purse. If you're a guy, you could probably put it in your pockets because men's pants have pockets. But it is so portable. It is definitely something that you could set right on a table. Now, alone and unfolded, this thing is great just to steady your hand as like a gimbal of sorts, but that's not really how I use it. Once you open the tripod, that's where the real magic begins. It's a standalone tabletop tripod capable of holding just about any cell phone and this alone is what I use for all of my whatnot videos. It's perfect for use on the table facing the items or you. You can actually use this with a cell phone or a camera. But let's be honest, we're talking about 2024 and we need the ability to do everything from our phones. With the majority of sellers now taking all photos from their phones, this handy little tripod is going to allow you to set up one shot in your light studio, on your table, wherever you take your photos. And totally streamline your photo process. I recently acquired this Bluetooth shutter button and I can actually take every photo without ever touching my phone. This isn't everything but it is one more thing to get me selling faster, more efficiently, more streamlined process in 2024 than years prior. The best part is this is not a fancy tool. This one is actually Vivitar brand and it is available on walmart.com. I have the link below in the description. I'm sharing all of the links to all of the tools that you can buy. Yeah like 
six dollars and ninety seven cents for this. We actually have like five of these in our house. There are three of us streaming to whatnot, and everyone has one where they stream. This, if you're selling on whatnot, you have to have one of these. Recently, YouTube told me that like sixty percent of the people watching my videos are not yet subscribed. So I want to stop and ask if you have ever learned anything off of one of my videos. Please ensure that you are subscribed. Consider turning on those notifications so you don't miss anything. We have a lot of really big plans here on the channel, including goal setting lives in 2024. And I'm confident you don't want to miss a thing. So if you would consider subscribing, it would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. This next one's going to take a little bit of honor system honesty from you guys. Have you ever had a package so large that you stand on the scale, your bathroom scale, see what you weigh, and then stand on the scale with the package and deduct the difference? Not anymore. Like it's 2024, you guys. If you don't yet have a scale capable of weighing up to 90 pounds, that's right. This compact little scale, again, something small enough I could take with me on the go even, this scale will weigh up to 90 pounds. It also goes from grams to pounds and ounces. There is a hold button just in case the package is so large it covers up the face. You just push hold, weigh the package, take the package off, and it still is displaying the weight of the item. It does run on batteries, and the good news is they're AAA batteries, not those weird button cell batteries, but just in case your battery died, look at this. You can hook up a DC adapter right into this thing. You are never going to be without a scale because your batteries died. The best part is this scale is around $30. I think it was $27 the last time I looked, and and it's available from an eBay seller. I have had this one without issue for over four years now. I have bought this scale for subscribers. I did a giveaway where I gave this scale away. And I've also bought this scale for my mother who resells as well. No complaints on this scale. Less than 30 bucks, free shipping, supporting an eBay reseller. I'm going to put the link to this one down below in the description. This is a tool that could totally change your business. I used to weigh the packages like that. I probably looked like Atlas. One more thing, since this does weigh grams, if you are selling any type of precious metals, uh, sterling silver or gold, this has you covered there as well. Many of the links in today's video are affiliate links. They cost you nothing extra, but they greatly support the channel. So if you're going to shop for any of these items, please consider checking out those affiliate links in the description. All of the tools in today's video are only going to help you accomplish the goals that you've already set for 2024, goals that you are working towards. If you're having trouble with goal setting, my last video, I actually walk you guys through my entire goal setting process and we're going to have those goal setting lives starting January 1st live here on the channel. One of the things I discuss in that goal setting video is to write down your goals and to break that year total goal into manageable portions with monthly or even weekly bite-sized goals. Now I've said it once, I will say it again, there is something transformative that happens when you write down those goals. I use a few different things to write down my goals and there's no secret sauce to any of them. It's not so much how you write them down, it's that you write them down. I I am going to share with you a few ways that I write down my goals for 2024. If you've never considered writing down your goals or using a planner or anything like that, I highly, highly suggest it. If nothing else, try it and prove me wrong. Write down your goals and see if you're not more apt to work towards them. If they don't somehow become more realistic to you when you're looking at them every day, just, just try it. Prove me wrong if you don't believe me. This is actually one of my favorite new notebooks for daily planning because I don't really need the list after I've checked everything off. So with this particular notebook, it comes with the Pilot Friction Pen, which is an erasable pen all in and of itself. Meaning if I mess up, I can simply erase it. But the real beauty of this very thin book is that once I filled an entire page, it comes with a microfiber cloth, you get it wet and you just completely erase it. And on its own, the ink will not smudge. So you can erase it with the eraser or just wet the entire page and start over. If you do need to keep the particular note, there's a QR code, there's an app, you can scan all that in. I just found that while I was making my to-do list for the day, at the end of the day, and once I checked the items off, I no longer needed that list, and there was a lot of paper waste. So again, this is the Rocket Book. I have a pretty small one. It works with any Pilot Friction Pen. I'll link both of those below. Another reusable way to keep track of my goals is this huge monthly planner that is also a dry erase board. So I will create, for the month, a calendar for our entire family. This stays 
at the refrigerator. And if you have something that you don't want everyone to forget, simply write it down here. There are three entrepreneurs working out of my home, so a calendar like this is absolutely imperative to keep us all on one page. I also use something as simple as a magnetic notepad. This keeps track and keeps it right in my line of sight. A big goal that I have immediately. And if you want to help me reach this goal, consider subscribing to the channel because right now I just hit 28K. 28.5 is the next one. Every time I am able to fill in one of these boxes, I get so excited. So help me fill this one in. Subscribe to the channel. One thing that keeps me on track with writing down my goals is making it fun. And for me, romanticizing just every little aspect of life. I recently bought this Gucci notebook on whatnot from a luxury seller. I cannot wait to use this thing to keep me on track for my 2024 goals. And I have to show you guys the coolest pin that I've been using in 2023. I know it's just a pin, right? But when you have the right materials that make you excited about writing things down, you're going to write your goals down. This is the Crush Metrics pin. And while it is a very smooth, nice writing pin, it's what's on the outside that really counts on this one. This is designed by an artist that does a lot of crushed tin can art. Let me just show you. When you push the button to reveal the ballpoint pen tip, something magical happens. The entire pen transforms into a work of absolute art. And when you're done writing, you just flip it up and it's like it was never there. It's such a conversation piece. It's a nice little fidget if you need something to occupy your brain while you're writing down your goals. Crush Metric is one of my absolute most favorite brands. I actually just bought my son one of these pens for Christmas because he is a fan as well. I'm going to include a link below to where you guys can get your own Crush Metric pens. I love these. That's not to say you can't use digital apps and planners to help you reach your goals daily. My family uses Google Calendar to stay on one page and all of the important life events are all synced to our calendars. There are a plethora of really great digital options, but I, I do suggest that you couple that with physically writing down that goal. I feel like there's genuinely no room for discussion or debate about the last item on today's list. Like it's undisputable that is one of the most important tools for resellers not only in 2024 but of any year it's a thermal printer when i first started reselling i would package up the item and take it to the post office i would actually hand write the address this is kind of cringe to admit but i was paying the counter rate the counter rate is the price that you pay for postage at the post office and i've made videos before the top things i wish someone had told me when i first started reselling and if anyone's watching this video that has not yet started reselling please take this advice stop paying that counter rate. You get enormous discounts and deductions by ordering your postage online. Most of the selling platforms you can buy postage directly on there but I hear a lot of people getting huge discounts on UPS especially if you're on either coast by using free websites like Pirate Ship. I know there are websites that you pay to have an account and you pay to buy postage on there but Pirate Ship is not like that. Pirate Ship is 100% free. Anyone can set up an account. Their USPS options are just as cheap as the eBay discounts. They are the steepest discounts that we're getting on eBay. I'm in the middle of the country, so I don't see huge discounts with UPS, but I've heard a ton of people on the East Coast save a lot of money on UPS using Pirate Ship versus eBay. So you need to be buying your postage online. When I finally graduated from that method, I started buying my postage online. I was printing those labels out on my Canon printer. I was buying a lot of ink. I was buying a lot of paper. I would print the label out sometimes one label to a page or two labels to a page. It, when you start to get four labels to a page, I feel like the label starts to get a little bit small. I get a little worried about that barcode if it's going to register and I definitely want my packages scanned. So I was printing these labels out, often two to a page, cutting them out with scissors and taping them onto the packages. You're not really supposed to put a super glossy tape over the barcodes because that makes it hard to scan too. So I was taping around the border with like four pieces of tape and then crossing my fingers that these paper labels didn't get wet in postage. I think I was doing that to save money, which is a crazy idea to me now because I see how much money a thermal printer has saved me in the long run. And it's definitely saved me a ton of time. And when you're working for yourself, time is money. Of course, I'm not naive to the fact that a thermal printer for most people is something, especially if you've just started reselling, you're going to have to save up for. Tons of brands exist. While Rolo seems to be the gold standard with a lot of people, I think that's just because the popularity is highest with Rolo. Dymo 
makes great thermal printers. Brother makes great thermal printers. There's Rolo. There are a lot of brands you haven't heard of, private label brands. I will tell you that the software integration is a lot easier with the companies that I've mentioned, Rolo, Brother, Dymo, but there are a lot of private label or no-name thermal printers. And if you are a little tech savvy and you can get those things set up, because there is a learning curve, you can actually get thermal printers for around $100 or less. While researching for this video, I actually saw that Dymo has come out with the Dymo 5XL and Staples had it on sale the other day for $149. It's not on sale right now. I will link below to it because I want to say it's under $250. It's like $219 for a brand new Dymo top of the line 5XL thermal label printer. If you ask five resellers a thermal printer that they recommend, you're going to get five different answers. At the end of the day, most thermal printers are about the same. You do get what you pay for. Just find the one that's right for you. Don't be afraid of a used thermal printer. For a long time, I used the Dymo 450, which actually doesn't even print a 4x6 label. It prints a 2x7 label. You can tweak your postage printout over on eBay to print on a 2x7. It's like a long envelope style. The barcode goes this way. I used that for years because I found that thermal printer at Goodwill for $60. So it doesn't matter what thermal printer you use. I, I will share some links just for shopping convenience. I'll share some links in the description. Uh, a few that I would suggest, a few that I would buy myself. But at the end of the day, just get yourself a thermal label printer. I'm telling you, it's going to make your job so much easier. You will never buy ink again. 2023 could be the last year that you're cutting and taping labels onto eBay packages. I hope you've enjoyed the top five tools that every reseller needs in 2024. If you have, then please like this video. Consider sharing it with someone. Thanks so much for watching. God bless. And remember, treat your business like your business.